Good morning, everyone. It's uh, wonderful to be here with you today. Um, just a quick notice about microphones and things like that. Um, I'm having a bit of an issue with one of the pieces of technology um, that, that connects the microphone to the computer. So um, I'm not a professional streamer. I'm I'm a vicar. That's the thing that we need to remember. I'm not. <laughs> this isn't my first. The the streaming stuff isn't the first part of my job, really. Um, I think I'm doing what I can. So um, there's a bit of kit that I've got, which I've had for years, which allows me to plug the guitar into the computer. That's what I'm using to plug the microphone into the computer because it's got to go from three quarter inch jack, no, a 3.5 millimeter jack to a three quarter inch jack. That That's what's got to happen. Um, and also I've got to get my speakers back out of that. So there's that bit of kit which I've I bought over 10 years ago uh, probably coming up to 14 years ago um, and that's kind of it, it's coming to the end of its life so I have to jiggle it pretty much every time before morning or evening prayer and, and if it doesn't work then that's what's wrong. Uh, there's a new piece of kit on order but that that that's just going to take as long as it takes to get here I can't get it here any quicker so if the microphone goes it goes to the computer microphone which is obviously the other side of the room um, and if it's hot I do have the window open and so that's why you'll hear dogs and cars etc etc because it's all the way over there it won't be on this mic um, so just just so you're aware of what what goes on uh, with live streaming and just kind of Putting it out there that this isn't this isn't what I was trained to do, um, and I don't, you know, the bits of equipment that I've got uh, are cobbled together to make it work. Um, it's not, it's not, um, you know, if you watch people online, they've they've got hundred hundreds of pounds worth of equipment um, to to just get a microphone working. You know, three four hundred pounds worth of equipment. And, and and I don't have that, so <laughs> there we go. I just thought I'd um, tell you what's going on if the microphone suddenly goes. The readings today are Psalm 119, um, not the whole of it, verses 53 to the end. Uh, Joshua chapter 3 and then Luke chapter 9, verses 37 through to 50. So those are the readings for today. Let's spend a few moments in silence before we pray together. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us, and so let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 119.
starting at verse 153. Consider my afflictions and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my course and redeem me. According to your promise, give me life. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Give me life according to your judgments. Many there are that persecute and oppress me. Yet do I not sw swerve from your testimonies. It grieves me when I see the treacherous, for they do not keep your word. Consider, O Lord, how I love your commandments. Give me life according to your loving kindness. The sum of your word is truth and all your righteous judgments endure for evermore. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I am glad of your word, as one who finds great spoils. As for lies, I hate and abhor them, but your law do I love. Seven times a day I do praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have they who love your law. Nothing shall make them stumble. Lord, I have looked for your salvation and have filled your commandments. My soul has kept your testimonies, and greatly have I loved them. I have kept your commandments and testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Let me cry, come bef before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your promise. My lips shall pour forth your praise. When you have taught me your statutes, my tongue shall sing your word. For all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand reach out to me. For I have chosen your commandments. I have longed for your salvation, O Lord, and your laws, your law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise you. Let your judgments be my help. I have gone astray like sheep that is lost. O seek your servants, for I do not forget your commandments. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Joshua chapter 3, the crossing of the Jordan. Early in the morning, Joshua and all the Israelites set out from Shittim and went, down, went to the Jordan, where they camped before the crossing. After three days, the officers went throughout the whole camp, giving the orders to the people. When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, your God, and the priests, who are the Levites, carrying, uh, carrying it, you are to move out from your positions and follow it. Then you will know which way to go, since you have never been this way before. But keep your distance, about a thousand yards between you and the ark. Do not go near it. 
Joshua told the people, Consecrate yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things among you. Joshua said to the priests, Take up the, take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass ahead on the uh, pass ahead of the people. So they took it up and went ahead of them. And the Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the eyes of all Israel, so that they may know that I am with you as I was with Moses. Tell the priests who carry the Ark of the Covenant when you reach the edge of the Jordan, Jordan's waters and go, go and stand in the river. Joshua said to the Israelites, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you will know that the living God is among you, and that he will certainly drive out before you the Canaanites, Hittites, Hivites, Pezites, Garizites, Amorites, and Jezebites. See, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth will go into the Jordan ahead of you. Now then, Choose twelve men from among the tribes of Israel, one, one from each tribe. And as soon as the priests who carry the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, set foot in the Jordan, its waters flowing downstream will be cut off and stand up in a heap. When the, when the people break the camp to cross the Jordan, the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant, went ahead of them. Now the Jordan is in, full, is in flood all during the harvest. Yet as soon as the priests who have carried the Ark have reached the Jordan and their feet touch the water's edge, the waters from upstream stopped flowing. It piled up in a heap a great distance away at the town called Adam in the vicinity of Zarathon. Whilst the waters flowing down towards the Sea of Abra, the, sea, uh, the Salt Sea, was completely cut off. So the people crossed over opposite Jericho. The priests who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood firm on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan, whilst, the, whilst Israel passed until the whole nation had completed the crossing on dry ground. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our New Testament reading is from Luke chapter 9, verses 37 uh, to 50. 37 to 50. The next day, when they came down from the mountain, a large crowd met him, a man in a man in the crowd called out, "Teacher, I beg you to look after my son, for he is only he is my only child." A spirit has seized him and suddenly uh, and he suddenly screams. It throws him into convulsions so that he foams at the mouth. It, it scarcely ever leaves him and is destroying him. I, beg, I begged your disciples to drive it out, but they could not. O oh, unbelieving and persevering, uh, unbelieving and persevere generation, Jesus replied, How long shall I stay here with you and put up with you? Bring your son here. Even when the boy was coming, the demon threw him to the ground in a convulsion. But Jesus rebuked the evil spirit and healed the boy and gave him back to his father. And they were, were all amazed at the greatness of God. Whilst everyone was marvelling at what Jesus had did, done, he said to his disciples, Listen carefully. Listen carefully to what I am about to tell you. The Son of Man is going to be betrayed and handed uh, ha betrayed into the hands of men. But they did not understand what he meant. It was hidden from them, so they did not grasp it. They were afraid to ask him about it. 
an argument started among the disciples as to which of them would be the greatest. Jesus, knowing their thoughts, he took a little child and made him sit beside him. Then he said to them, Whoever welcomes this little child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For he who is least among you, he is the greatest. Master, said John, we saw a man driving out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he is not one of us. Do not stop him, Jesus replied. For whoever is not against you is for you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guide you with your guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. The Lord will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Song of Redemption from Colossians The Father has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption for the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. All things were created through him, and for him he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the first born from the dead. In him all fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile all things. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let's turn to our prayers. Father God, today we pray for your world, a world which is broken in so many ways. Yesterday, the world stood for equality among races, as we remember the tragic death in America. Lord, I pray that you will bring equality among race in the whole world. That people won't be discriminated against because of the colour of their skin. Help us to be first in this as your people. That we, if we have any prejudice, will leave it behind today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, today we pray for our NHS. Thank you for them and for all the work that they are doing. 
help them to know you and worship you. If they don't know you, we pray that they'll turn to you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we also pray today for the family of uh, Colin Haddock, whose funeral it is today. Pray for all who will be there, and for those who won't be. Lord, give them your grace at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So let's just spend a few moments in silence to bring to God our own petitions. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into great danger. Order us in all our doings to guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so as our Saviour taught us, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and give us his peace. And keep us in eternal life. Amen. And so let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. And uh, today we have our first little fish online, so do uh, do keep us in your thoughts as uh, that happens in about half an hour's time. Um, so that will be fun. Um, and if you know anyone who who might want to be a part of that, uh, do get them to be in touch. So if they've got children of preschool age uh, get them to be in touch and we can invite them to it for for next week um, but have a great have a great day and i will see you uh, see you tonight for evening prayer god bless <laughs>